Hello everyone, Original Ginger here, and welcome to part 13 of Tomb Raider Anniversary, and today we are playing the Great Pyramid. Which part of me wants to say that this is the most difficult level in the game, but in reality there's just a spot or two that I find really frustrating personally. More because I suck than anything else. But anyway, one way or the other, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, we need to head up this way and trigger a cutscene before we can do anything else in the game. Alright, now that that's done, we've- ow! Got a battle. And what we have here is one flying monster, which I guess are referred to as gargoyles. And then two of these guys. And they're basically the... The non- mummified versions of what we met in Egypt. I don't think they're really any harder. But that's the first half of the battle, then we need to head upstairs to do the second half of the battle. Or up ladders, I suppose. Now we get to fight two more of these flying demons. And this is another level that they trimmed a pretty good bit out of. It, uh... It originally was quite a bit longer but they trimmed the fat so to speak and took out what I feel are kind of necessary parts and originally the level kind of looked like it was made of flesh which why they changed it for this I'm not a hundred percent sure it still kind of has a living sort of quality with all the pods or egg sacs or whatever they are but this room is the one that I find kind of frustrating. Not at the beginning, the first couple little uh, acrobatic parts are actually rather easy. As you can see, there's this little symbol on the wall, and uh, when you shoot it, eight lights on the outside light up and it kinda counts down before your rings and bars and things will retract back into the wall see and every time you activate one it'll send a monster out after you so you wanna reset the time once you've done the battle and I believe it's the third one that gives me issues so see how that turns out this one yes it is
No, target the monsters, not the owl. Ow, don't, don't fall, duh! Damn it. At least there's a checkpoint. After... After each platform. Let's see if we can't kill these guys without falling off this time. Is that both of them? It is, okay. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh god. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Not too bad. Yeah, that last one is the one that usually frustrates me most, so I'm glad we got it done quickly. Good God! Come on! Quit shooting me with your fireballs. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's what you get. Go. Okay. Yeah, they really give you basically just enough time to do it. If you make any major mistakes, then you probably won't won't be able to make it. Okay. Okay, well, we're doing better than I expected. Let's not ruin it. There we go. Awesome. I believe that was the last one. Sure enough. Okay. What's next? Ah, trap hall. Okay. Let's reload our shotgun here. Okay, not too bad. Okay, easy Japanese. We got that done. Ah, so this room. Okay, you probably can't see it yet. I can barely tell over at that other side, but there's actually a Laura clone of sorts in this room. And you want to avoid damaging her, because any damage she takes, you take too, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so let's take a look at this freakish thing. So, ooh, oh, don't go right past it. Alright, there's the Laura Doppelganger, and this room, as you can see, is symmetrical. And anything you do, she will do exactly. No, jump, jump, jump and grab. There we go. 
And this is another part that's timed, so you have to try to be as quick as possible about it. Go ahead and pick up the ammo and things. And you'll have a, a battle on each side to do. But we pull this switch here, and that opens up a, a pit there. Ow! So now basically we've just got to convince her to jump in that pit while we land safely. Is this the right side? Yes. So there we go, and that's how we take care of the doppelganger. And Laura says a really cheesy line. Okay, that was quick. And I'm not sure if this door is timed or not, but I like to try to be rel relatively quick about it anyway. And this will be more difficult to turn this time, because you're by yourself. Come on. Okay. Alright, we're doing pretty good on this level. I want to get... Let's reload everything while we've got a moment. Yeah. Oh, it's this room. Okay. Oh, right, wow, we are nearly done with the level already. Just want to avoid those rams there, and there's a switch on either side of the room, so... First one, as you can see, extends a bridge. And again, each time you pull a switch, it releases a, a monster. Get off me! And I like to play it safe there. You can actually make it through in just two, two cycles, but I like to play it safe. This one is more difficult. You've got to jump on the middle one, just as it comes out, and kind of leap across, because as you can see, there's no floor. Um, there we go. And that's the path to the end of the level. Where you at? There you are. Get off me! Bad camera angle. Come on, get off. There we go. And now we're going to have to make it back across here. Oh! Leap! Dead. Okay, let's give this another shot. Here we go. So, thank you for watching. This has been the original Ginger, and join me next time when we head to the final conflict.